Where's my horse? Who's that guy? Yep. We've been meeting at that old fort. My horse decided to glitch and not spawn for me. I love this track. Yes, it is ice. Sorry, it's my cold brew. Sorry, you guys can hear it. <laughs> oh, nuts. What I do to my horse? Whoops.
It's Mr. Way. Oh my goodness, he's right there! Exactly, is happening. This chat is off. See me go. You there, big fella? Wait, Co, can you see me? Hello. Hey, y'all. Hey, can anybody hear me? We can hear you, X. Okay, you can hear me. But can, can you hear me? us, Holly? I can hear Holly. all of you. I, I can't. Okay. I haven't heard a word from Co away. I came separately. Yeah, they need to take naps. Yeah. Way co Angela. I don't think we can. <clears throat> okay, I think everybody's going to reboot. I can hear I can hear everybody. I just I can see Cohen Way and everyone, but I can't hear them. Yeah, yeah. Still just as mystifying as ever. Mystifying. Yeah, that's my attempt at a compliment. No, right, I'll take Did it. Did you like else. it? I'll take it. Okay. I do like this. This, I mean, this just looks so clean. It just looks so good. Ugh, I love her style. A long time. 
across. Yeah, I should say so. Then to what do I owe the pleasure of this little meeting? I believe that is my associates wanted to meet with you. But I want to let them say their piece. Mr. Way? Yeah, my... Oh, they're all here. Okay. Yeah, everyone's here. Oh, they, they just arrived. Okay. Well, we we have just... We, one of us has just arrived. Holy, when the hell did you get here? Same time you did. Ah, all right. At the shop. Right, I did not see you. Sorry. Yeah. A lot of smoke in the air around here. Forest fires. Mm, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Mr. Mr. July is making his way to the thick and thick as we speak. Okay. Mr. Who? It. Yo. Mr. J July. He's another one of our compatriots. The July Curry. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fox. Mr. Shaw. Harry, Harry. Go. Harry. Good to see you. Sorry for our anti climactic entrance. Yes, we do. We do apologize for such a thing. I believe there's some um, a ceremony to which we need to get out of the way, yes? Yes, uh, may I approach? Sure. In um, my country, because we are from China originally, when we discuss business or uh, meet uh, people that we like to do business with, um, Usually, we have food and drink, and uh, then we present them with gifts. Uh, and in my country, it's usually the most favored gift wins. Uh, I would like to present to you, Mr. Summers, a gift uh, from us. Now, this has been um, a long history, and I will tell you about it after I give it to you. After you finish, I will tell you its history. Go ahead and open it if you wish. It's a burning gun. Pump shot. Excuse you. Yes, this particular weapon once belonged to Sheriff Hart, I believe. And it has been used in the one in several battles uh, lately, taken down a few of our enemies. But we have maintained it well, and it's time that it moves from our hands to yours, if you wish. It is going the gift. Well, it's on. She's here. It is our pleasure. I hope this is an acceptable gift from you and ours, an extension of breed from our culture to yours. My name is Zheng Wei, of Wei Industries and Taipan proprietor. The man who bestows to you this great gift is an extension of Taipan, it's called Chenga Zheng. I believe you may have been familiar. Of course, July Grey to my left, That's and Holy, in Holy Frost, of course, which I believe you are very familiar with, Mr. Summers. Yeah, maybe too familiar. <laughs> Indeed. So tell me. This is who you ran with. What business are you interested in with my friends and myself? 
So these are the folks you're running with nowadays. We're interested in a lot of different things with you, Mr. Oh. Summers. I believe we'll wait until that is cleared out to start this conversation. Hmm? Southeast. Looks like Emily. Oh. E Emily Kenwood. Yeah, she uh, should be on her way. Mm -hmm. All right. She's fine. I believe there were some things that we wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Summers. Involving just a few bits of business business ideologies practices maybe even something that maybe you would like to go ahead and get yourself into we ourselves are very resourceful people dwelling in the crossing and i believe that you are just as capable as well so we're here to put some things on the table i don't know if i'm the capable one i'm just the man that knows how to listen well, listening seems to be the great lesson of the day. The most intuitive person in the world, and Mr. Summers, is that oh, who listens and understands. And that I can envy, I must say, that I don't. Mr. Cole, was there something that you wanted to bring up to Mr. Summers first? Well, I believe that um, uh, we have uh, many things, that uh, services that we can offer. Um, I'll just uh, go over it then early, and uh, Mr. Way perhaps can describe a little bit more. Of course. Uh, but of course, uh, we uh, buy and uh, sell weapons. We would offer you the best price that anyone can offer. And if anyone can beat our price, then we will beat theirs if you give us the chance. And any weapons you wish to sell. We will also sell you weapons at a lower price, lowest in the crossing. If anyone beats our price, we will go even lower. On top of this, uh, we have a growing network of information gatherers that uh, if you are interested in learning something about somebody or something, we can possibly be of assistance to you. And uh, thirdly, Mr. Wei here is the director of Wei Industries, a great mining company, several generations long. Uh, in the hard times, perhaps cash is not king. But maybe diamonds and emeralds are. I have one question for you then. Why? Why do you want to do business with me? I think it would be a wasted opportunity, Mr. Summers. Somebody of your caliber? Somebody with your tenure, with inside the crossing, your influence. Not only that. As you said, you listen. You also get things done. Capable and people you can count on. I got to have near and dear. Would I be wrong in assuming that you are capable? I suppose what I struggle with is what you desire of me in return. Good business. But it's all a good, good, good business all, all I can ask for. It's just good, healthy business. Loyalty goes many different ways. You'll find it here with inside the Taipan. We are people. Who believe in honor, unlike many of the others to which we have shared the battlefield with, or even adversaries that we unfortunately have shared the same past with. Fair enough. I'd like to make something very clear then, to all of you. I'm fine going in the business with you. Selling guns, buying guns, etc. I also do have an interest in gems. I'd like to probably purchase more than you can handle. However, All right, Jinchi. Right. I've heard a lot about you, folks. About the wars, the bloodshed. I care about these men around me. 
You see, when you're locked inside of a box for a long time, you quit feeling the things you used to. I lost a lot of friends in my last war. I don't intend on losing these ones. So this gift, if this business tiding, is a somehow a favor to the Redwater Company and myself. Well, that just ain't in the cards. Now, every man has a price. And if the price was high enough, we'd talk. But I want to make that very clear out of the gate. Mm. They do us a service by making that extremely clear. Just know that the business, how silly the people to which you cultivate, that you call your family. These are fine folk you have. And I would never deem it necessary at any point to go ahead and put you or yours in danger when it comes to doing our tidings. My people are important to me too. From Cole to Holy and to everything else in between. We will always do what is the best for us, together in our ventures. Taipan has always thought about community, raising people up, keeping things close-knit. We do not spit on the people who are good to us. I got that's a new yes. sort of conversation, isn't it? I understand that you may not wish to endanger us, but the crossing is full of as many worms as there are fools. Most folks would consider just this conversation means for something more. I'm sure you understand that more than most. Mm, oh, there we go. Everyone coming to raw conclusions without enough information and them being righteous. Oh, Why people have been hurt because of stuff like this. So people just using one side as an excuse to enact war. But you'll be familiar with those sorts of people, Mr. Summers. Mm -hmm. They were your constant thorn in your side, and they have been the constant thorn in everyone in the crossing side all this time. May I, may I say something? Of course. Yeah, here at Taipan, we put honor, business, and family. These are our priorities. We also like to handle our own problems. It's, uh, I don't like to use the word war because we had a war here not too long ago, of which we were a part of. But that passed. However, direct threats to one of our members in our organization to bring us down one by one left us no choice but to do a conflict with this other group. But we have been very careful to limit it only to him and his. Oh, Lao Bai Xiong, the common people have been touched or hurt. They would take a pride in this. And we have had a victory after victory, yet they still refuse to give up. If that is our problem to handle, we won't uh, trouble you with our problems. Good. You know how we do business, way. Right? Always mm -hmm. well. Like it was yours and... said, if you were to draw trouble to our doorstep, just as if we were to draw trouble to yours, nobody would be happy then. Agreed. So we'll make sure we make these wonderful meetings we have extremely private. But not only that, between us. Our business is our business. Let's keep it that way. And likewise, Hex wanted to know about details about that job we discussed, and I said that it's over because it's not going to have the same effect it would have in another time, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Unfortunately, That's gentlemen. You want to know how you stop a war with Jack Kellerman? You shoot up with an elephant gun twice? No. Because <laughs> they didn't do it. I know that feeling. Wait, you've been shot with an elephant too? No, no, just... Oh, I, uh, <laughs> sorry. 
I should write the fucker an invoice for the amount of that I've put into him. Oh. <laughs> Jack Kettleman is a cockroach. He's an impatient man. Shooting him down eight, nine, ten, forty-seven times. <laughs> and I'll give you the result you want. You want to end the war with Kettleman? Waste his time. Find him every day. Put him in a pair of handcuffs. And take him out to the Sea of Coronado. Ha! Oh. I reckon by the second trip back, he'll get over the war. That's... Jack changes his mind like the weather. That is a good idea. Just, just ditch him, <laughs> ditch him out in the snow. Very valid wisdom, That's Mrs. Howard. That's way out in the desert. Very valid. Like the farthest you can go out in the desert. That's oh, a valid like idea. Then, huh? hmm. We have That's a surplus of guns we would like to sell. We do have a potential buyer, but I'd like to hear what you're willing to buy them for. You may see. Well, Dep depends on what you have for this to be this year. What they did in your inventory. No surplus. Shaw will know better than I. Mm -hmm. When you boys get on about all that. No, we're... <laughs> we're recalling how they got that pump action to begin with. Oh. I may or may not be the one that sold that to you, fellas. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, and you uh, just yeah. gifted it back, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah Bonnie Bo yeah. Jack is one who sold that to us, yes. Uh, I was with yeah, Bonnie yeah, Jack you were there. sold it. Yes, you were, what? I remember. Oh, when... I recall this. Is this when Hot came into the bottom of the saloon? And, he, and we had him walk back to Black. Oh, I remember the story. Oh, God. Had I been there to see it. Right. Ty, uh, look at you reminiscing with your criminality. Oh, we inventory. We have too bolt much. Action. We have a bolt <laughs> action, two Lancasters, three Schofields, two of which are owned and named by Lawman. We, we also had another Hicks. Lancaster to that. We took one today. Three Lancasters and Hicks has something. I don't know yeah, what it is. Nash might have something too. Uh, one bolt action, three Lancasters. How many Schofield? Uh, four, I think. Yeah, and what else? Which are uh, imprinted with that SCSD. One of which belong, one of the Lancasters and one of the Schofields are named and customized by one Saffron Mitchell. Ah, uh, okay. Good. Uh, the Bolt and the Lancasters, uh, they too uh, belong to the they all department. Of them do. Uh, typically, uh, with other customers, we offer half price uh, for any dirty weapons. This is what we call weapons that are owned by the uh, sheriff's department. And uh, they were breathing down our necks uh, for quite a while, so we stopped doing it. But I believe we can come to an arrangement. I can offer you 70% um, the price of what they're worth. And he has no. Would this be satisfactory? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's satisfactory. Mm -hmm. Good okay. to hear. Good to hear. I'm um, cold. Want to go ahead and crunch those numbers out for a second? Um, just we, we, we want to go ahead and bring this number to buy, bring it to buy. Seventy percent of a Lancaster would be uh, two hundred forty-five dollars. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's better that I maybe figure it out back in the shop and then telegram you later. Agree. That's fine. I just, I just telegram, I just telegram a number. Not no uh, information. I don't like using. You a... No, we shouldn't telegram that to you. No, no, no. I believe if anything, we'll just say that we'll go back give us exactly a day or two and we'll come we'll go ahead and make the sale then we just need to go ahead and find the right number right. now would you prefer cash or gems for payment that is yeah. my second question i was going to ask cash for the guns and then i'll buy the gems with my own money 
Right. But your own money. Mr. Summers, a gentleman like yourself, and you should make a lot of money in your status. Sometimes you gotta know which bets to take. I've been fortunate. Hmm. We need to go ahead and give me some of that luck. Well, Holly's not a good person. We need to go ahead and be hanging around the right season. Am I right there, Taipan? Before we can give the, mm. before you can get your number, you're gonna need to know our full stock shit. How do you, yes. how okay. do you want us to figure that out for you, or send that to you, rather? Well, it's I think code it's for. better. Yeah, each gun is uh, related to a certain code. Whatever the fuck you want to write, I don't give a damn. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll take stock today, and then I'll telegram code with the the total. There you go. Right. Just go ahead and shorten all the words. You know, if it's a land cast, it's just la three land, three shelves, right. three. Oh, sounds good. No, shelves. three navy, three. No, shut your no, mouth. No, I know. I know. Shelves. I know. Yeah, shelves. That's what I call my cousin. You know. Hey, shelves. Come here. You said yeah, you had not... a stolen gun. What is it? I don't have a cousin named Shelves. Go for you. All right. But we could definitely figure it out. But yes, if you could give us 24 hours to at least figure out the full price, after we give you the full inventory, we should be going from there. But since we have that business out of the way, let's talk about precious stones. Is it you interested in the purchase, yes? Right, sir. Mm hmm. Like, you now, I'm a little challenged, I must say. Mr. Summers, where someone said you're going to buy an incredible amount, and maybe I do not have the inventory, but I'm a little curious. How much are you willing to buy, or how much do you want? How much are you trying to sell? <sighs> I, uh, I, see, I guess it depends on your, your desire, your want. Because if anybody has the highest concentration of emeralds inside the crossing, I have them. You want to talk about diamonds. Diamonds have been an influx, unfortunately, due to the fact of Kerrigan and Mr. Jack fucking up the entire market. Diamonds aren't mm. as sorted or sought after. What about you. Sapphire? The sapphire, these are the ones that I can go ahead and do. You can, Rubies uh, as well. You can store more cash value with Sapphire, ain't that right? You can. Thirty-six dollars if you go ahead and get them cut. Just take the ten in a sec. That's three hundred and sixty dollars. If you're buying them at a general store, of course. If I were to say. I have 80 diamonds for you. You buy that? How much you want for the lot? Obviously more than you paid. Well, way more. You have to understand this, sir. I don't sell my jewels off of the general store does. I sell them off of the novelty and the discovery and hard work that people did to put out of the earth. So, you will be buying that at that price. But I'll do my best to be fair. Are you familiar with haggling, Mr. Summers? Ah, oh, too familiar. Ah, good, good. It is an custom inside the Chinese market. You don't go there. If you don't haggle, they'll look at you side-eyed. <laughs> like you're two heads, a yanko high, a demon, if you would. <laughs> so, I buy my diamonds for, they say, about $100 a pop. I you do that, man. you, my nice boy. <gasps> not feeding today. I'm not feeding today you you don't get to a little steep there don't you think fella i did say haggle did i not and go 50. you go 50. Mm, Gen general general store gives me 50 days so don't low blow me like that you kick me right in the grand hole how I about you meet me in midway six four said there's a that's sapphire uh, the ruby yeah that's what we're after ain't it we send you diamonds summers I'm selling oh, your diamonds, dear sir. Diamonds. We can talk to the other ones there. I want to hit you mid-ground. I want to see where your desire is for these stones. How much are diamonds worth in the general store? Fifty dollars. So how about you meet me halfway, Summer? Seventy-five dollars. Can you do that? Sixty-five. Seventy. Alright. Yeah. Nice. Deal. I can overall have eighty of them given to you by the end of today, if that's what you want to go ahead and do. If the diamonds work for you there, fantastic. I also have emeralds, as well as I have a few rubies and a few sapphires. Business has been unfortunately a little slow. 
now we want to talk about emeralds i have those in a, a grand amount but those are expensive my friend very expensive truth be told i'm mostly after sapphires we'll save the sapphires now. all right well if i have some sapphires though i believe i have i have about 10 of them in stock i'm giving those to you how does Three eighty sound on the sapphires. What do they sell for? Thirty six. Ten of them would be three hundred sixty dollars. So it will be a twenty dollar makeup for myself. Yeah, I'll give you four hundred for it. Well, look at you, my friends, so generous. Consider done. Consider it done. All right. All right. So is it just sapphires oh, that you're interested yeah. in, this, sir? Or there, is it there anything else? That the... Primarily. I'll well, have to think on how many diamonds I want, but I'll still own to our agreed price. I don't know if I want all of your stock right now. I might right. have to move some things around. Find a fucking grave to put them in. <laughs> all right, boss. You're going to need something, well, that's there's for sure. There's plenty of those. <laughs> Indeed. He'll be digging more soon. Uh-huh. Mm. Sound like you gentlemen have been very busy. Where do you think we got these weapons from, Fred? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Speaking of uh, weapons, your old enemies have not given you any trouble, yes? This mythic Mr. Ketumin, or? No, I sent Jack straight a long time ago. I told him he provokes me once. We'll stomp him like the cockroach he is. I ain't worried about Jack Ketumin. Never feared him, never will. I made it out of that war without a scratch. Hey, okay, uh, yeah. Miss Kenward, that you back there? Yes. I heard that, uh... Except for it. Co, you said a fellow by the name of Wesley Shields that a cracked skull, that right? Yeah. That's, that is right. That's right. Can we get the full extent of that medical report? Let me get my notebook out. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Miss Emily. And if, uh, if you do have the information, I doubt you do. Who did him in? Is Wesley Shields dead? No, he's in Sisica. No. But who cracked his skull open is the question. Mm hmm. Well, I heard something for a moment, but I think that's the horses in the back. I um, just got spoke by something from that snake. A lot of snakes, a lot up, of there, snakes yeah. up here. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Summers, when would you want to go ahead and do the diamond deal with the sapphires? Would you like me to meet you somewhere sooner than later? Or would you want to do this the same day that we do the exchange for the guns? We could probably do it all the same day. I just have to think on it how That'll much I want. That'll be a huge exchange. You let me know. Cool you let me know. If you all want to know the emerald price at all or for future purchases. Sapphires and diamonds are no fine. Sapphires and diamonds, please. Can't hate the man on trying to get a good opportunity here. I understand. Mm. I'll read it how it's written in the medical report. Severe fracture to the skull due to blood force trauma. Plates and fragments pressed downward with force. Signs of fluid buildup in skull. Fluid in one lung. So, is that blunt force trauma? What do you think he was hit with? A large object or a very powerful object, maybe a hammer or something. They wanted it to be a hammer because they wanted to, they want to know it's Jack. Hammer. There is one person who likes to use hammer. Why would he attack him? I don't know if it's a hammer, but just something with that kind of force. Could be a rifle, but... Yeah, could be. it yeah. could be that. I think that is what I'm overhearing. Could also be a fucking shovel. Well, you hear anything about Wesley Shields, you let me know. Is there um, anything else you are interested in knowing more about? Or someone? Um, I... 
I got a whole fella. fucking list for you. You wouldn't happen to have the telegram of one Solomon Walker, would you? Oh, yes, of course. Mm hmm. Then we don't. Mind we'll be... uh, letting us have it. Oh, yes, yes. It is our X M. Zero eight two, if I'm correct. Call was it eight? Oh, you have better memory than me. I need to check my notes. I, uh. I'm pretty sure it's that. XN082. So you beware that Solomon man, though. I'll tell you this much, there, gentlemen. There's not too many people on the crossing that will go ahead and smile on your face as many times as they do and have so many damn agendas behind those eyelids. Yeah, that is correct. XN802. 802. If there's any of a, any questions or anything else of that sort that you have, or a telegram away, if there's anything we could be able to help with. I'm looking for a name of one of your enemies in a telegram. A girl by the name of Goldie. Oh, yeah. Do you have Goldies? Yes, I do. Oh, there you go. I need to check my notebook. Hang on a second. Look no further, Mr. Summers. Look no further. Are. There's one more I have after that, and I will leave you to it. Uh, all right, I have Goldies. Here it is. Once ready. Y Z zero zero nine Y Z zero zero nine. Correct. Excellent. Know, Last right? one for you, go if you don't mind. Mm, sure time no, I bet you on this one. Tell me two snakes. Ugh. Uh, this <laughs> one I know I him. I, have I that don't. One. Let me, let me look. No, you, you've been getting around here, Mr. Summers. Tommy, two snakes, you're looking for him, too? Ah, uh, you owes me a fucking favor. I, uh... Well, good luck getting that man to go ahead and bend it to anything. Oh, I might as well. <laughs> I'll get that the snake myself. <laughs> hey, Fuckers lucky to way. still be breathing. Oh, it is? Did you give him this fortune? I okay. have to check my telegrams. I know I have his brother's telegram for sure. I might have his. But I don't I'm have looking, his. I, right I have met him before. I don't think I have it. I do not either. That's fine. If you all discover it, please let me know. Then oh. we shall. Easy enough. enough. My question is, is the next time we are to have a meeting there, Mr. Summers, am I going to be able to have some one-on-one -on -one time with you for the Taipans proprietor to proprietors of the Summers gang? I believe the hospitality of tea and <laughs> a little bit of uh, the city life where we go for you. I don't mean alone. You don't mean alone? Ever? No. Make a respect it. Well, <laughs> you will find yourself up to it. I'd love to have you for a cup of tea. You might be very surprised at how... Those. Surprised how calmly... ...the environment may oh, provide. Good. Yeah, I'll think on it. Hmm. All right. Well, Taipan, is there any other business endeavors that would you want to go ahead and talk to Mr. Summers about? I'm gone. Not, no, not at this time, I don't think. I don't think his men are too much into robbing banks anymore. Hmm, so I see. Always open, dude. Mm. Don't speak so soon there. <laughs> holy, okay. holy, you're making a big lie out of yourself. <laughs> it, you know, it looks like they're otherwise occupied. That's what I mean. Mm, I see, I see. Well, 
gentlemen, if your talent uh, and your fingers are feeling ever so tingly like Miss Holly's to dance, so you just let us know. We'll do. Good to hear. Good to hear. Um, one last thing before we do go. Summers, I know that you and Holly have a past. Yes? You could say that. All right. I know you were pretty clear cut about you and yours are putting yours in danger, and I can only agree with you. Holy Frost has been nothing but a great blessing to Taipan and the family, and somebody who left much in her past to seek great purpose. It was an utter pleasure and honor to be able to associate us with, with what we cultivate. The past that which she has with you, she left behind. To grow and leave a bigger future. I'm not going to have to worry about that past, Mr. Summers. Am I? No. Good. Then we can continue business. As it should be. Gentlemen. Just want to say thank you so much for your hospitality here. It's a pleasure to see most of you, if not all of you. I mean, I'm not pretty sure I see everybody here. Tell Mr. Hicks and whatnot I said. Hi. He's up above. He's just over oh. there. Oh. It's right over there on the right. Burn. Hicks. Burn. <laughs> Burn. Just want to say hi. <laughs> I don't know why you just impersonated a cow either that was <laughs> called for. <laughs> Burr. Mm. <laughs> 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 of course, of course. Gentlemen. Whoa. <laughs> you have a good rest of your day. And she's here. Thank you for your time today. Right, safe way. Well. Do as well. Yeah. You weren't on my list before this. Just so you know. Who wasn't on your list? I said she wasn't on my list even before we met. Holy. There was never any plans to go after Miss Frost. No? Oh. Just want to make sure. Security is on. I Be well, gentlemen. I knew that I wasn't going crazy. I knew that was your horse. Yes. You, you walked right up to me and then you said nothing and walked away. <laughs> it's not that dead. <laughs> dead, the, the smog, the fog, the og, uh -huh. the dogs. I'm surprised I've seen Mr. Shaw there. Been a while. Mm hmm. We honestly think that you two be brothers. Look at looking as much as you do alike. I mean, he actually looks a lot like my one brother, Alistair. Mm hmm. Thinking about it, that's a fun old coincidence. Miss Frost, when are you are, when are you and I gonna rob a bank? I would love to do it any time, but we need a crew, we need at least two mm. others. We could maybe get Trip. I don't know about a fourth. All right, my horse is being terrible. Holy, can I ride on the back of your horse? I guess so. What's Mister Carl? You get. I guess so, Mr. White. Your, your editor yeah, is terrible. Well, it's not very good for my horse, that's why. Oh, it's not very good for your horse. Listen, I am not the size of Fei Long, all right? You don't have to worry about anything. Or Feng Li. It's cow. still or cow. Off, off balance, and you're still larger than I am, and you're still on the back oh, of my horse. my God. Listen to yourself. I, I just threw myself on the goddamn coals for you. Right in front of Mr. Summers, you know what he said to me? He's going to kill me next. He did not say that. You should have seen this. His hair fell off of his head and slithered up my pants leg and whispered in my ear. What on earth, Mr. White? I'm, don't it's suck. Of Just, what? It is a story when I was a, I went the, back the, to the the, city. a demon, if you will. Yeah. His hair okay. was really his, long. His hair is a demon. Okay. He was, okay. okay. Obviously, obviously, you're not understanding. Hey, yeah. How long were you there by yourself? Um. I basically oh, man, walked up when you did, and I had to wait for all your yeah. taking naps I'll and clear your heads. Ah. 
Just want to make sure you weren't there long. I was gonna have a last partner. Oh, thank you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you just you the Mr. Summers. <laughs> Oh, this is my chance. I could gun him down right now. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. He's alone. I gun him down. <laughs> what is with the weather? Oh, it's my goodness. Cloudy. Never having that chance again. Sunny, the well, we, oh, we just got done talking to Summers. Now we're back in spring. She's about to go ahead and redo <laughs> all the seeds. For it's his, his betrayal. That. But, like, you know, opportunist. stuff has grown you know cold, funny. you know? He wants to, I, I love it when people go, oh, I can buy all the diamonds from you, all the and things. And because he's so, not okay, aggressive, right, it's it's whatever, account, then. Huh? Not too big. 80 Still diamonds. don't feel like you can trust that? him, though. I'm a fucking 80 emeralds. You got that? I just hope that, no, that you're all aware. I, I just hope that you're all aware that no matter how well that seemed to go, he would still throw you off the cliff if he thought it would serve him. Mm. And that's a trust. Holy, there's one thing I understand about the people at the crossing as all snakes and people fill with agendas. And even us, business folk, with many different business ventures, you would think that I we know. would have the slimiest snakes in the fucking grass. Well, exactly, folks. I trust someone as mean. far as I can talk him, but he has money, <coughs> he has possibility and promise. We shall see where that we goes. we do not make ourselves a direct threat, I imagine he would probably just trample around us rather than over us. Agreed. Also, he played to his weakness as well. Notice he wouldn't even go ahead and have with me alone. The man is fucking paranoid. That's why the sound of me. Can't tell what that's fucking fog. This way. That man was utterly paranoid. Not even to have tea with me inside of sound of me. Like that's how extreme. someone has wanted us. This camera, I cannot understand a word you're saying. That's how Sounds someone like has wanted as him stays alive and stays uncaught, Mr. Wayne. I think you have something in your throat. Well, because of the fact that he's always so. with people. Yes. Well, then that's his one weakness. Unlike you, always, you can survive well, by yourself like was, everybody else is. He cannot. He was always, always with others Canada, or in deep disguise. What was that, Julie? Are we still dealing with Kettleman? I mean, when Edward yeah, Kettleman resets, we're not hurting him. Then the... I say we just take him up to the fucking glacier. And leave that's him. what I was thinking. Yeah, uh, if if that happens, yeah, that's my. Yeah, that is what I really want to do. Uh, fuck the desert. Let's go north to the cold. Take off his boots. <laughs> just dangerously inconvenience him. Yes. <laughs> well, have you ever uh, walked I'm in the snow with bare feet? Oh God, no. You could maybe last 50 feet, maybe 100, before your feet begin to burn. We could shoot his horse. Then... I've done yeah. it. <clears throat> you got shot. Yeah, but for that long of time. No, no. Lose a few toes at least. at least. If he's lucky. <laughs> yeah, he won't be able to make it down from the mountain before his feet begin to freeze. Well, and they will go down. Hitting. He'll lose his feeling. And you'll have to have him amputate. Amputate. We'll have to go ahead and give him a good yeah, old uh, yeah, Mr. Summers. How many body parts can we, can we take from Mr. Kellerman before all said and done? I think I'm going to challenge uh, ourselves. What am I going here? Harbaging a bunch of fucking serial killers? <laughs> bunch of people who are yeah. just sick of things, I think. Mr. Oh, White. I mean, you. Well, they're told. Mr. White, I, I do again victim, have though. to stay. You know what I've done. Mm hmm. I say it's a. Out of everyone here, I think way the heaviest. Not on me, mind you, but the people that were affected by him. Yeah, the scale of violence. In any thing to go ahead to be measured, to be honest with you. But yes, there's some people in this grouping I will not want to go ahead and cross paths with, that's for sure. Uh -huh. So, for one, we can talk more oh, about this, uh, this little project once we get back to the store. Yeah, right, right. I would love to hear it. I need to... Holly, how are you feeling? What do you mean? I mean, do you feel relief? Do you feel 
Right. Of heart or... I just don't trust him. That's it. But I think we're probably in the clear for now. Now here's the thing. There's a difference between trust in how you trust in him to keep his word and trust in that you know how he's gonna act. No, I don't know how he's gonna act. Oh. Now, I think we're gonna at least take a little solace in that. Yeah. Nah, the less worried about the other. There's no friction. Well, I have a lot of tea. <laughs> so do I. That's gonna be solved sometime soon. Not very true. I mean, if the sale goes gold, I mean, that's 600, that's 6,000 dollars in my pocket. Uh -huh. Yeah, that'll be a big operation whenever we do that. We might have to do mm -hmm. a few, uh, a few mining drives. Roundups mm -hmm. on the town talk and all that. No, indeed. Well, we did one today. We got a few names, which was nice. But, um, so not as many as we like to back. No, let's go meet in the office. Let's go sit down. Yeah, I would have helped that, but it was a bit early in the day, then I can really... Yeah, no, no, no worries. If anything, Tuesday will be later on in the day, so you can help out with that one if you like. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, all the man in yeah maybe. I don't mind. Security advisor? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know that I like to do different sort of mining that is a lot well, less well, swinging a pickaxe, a lot yeah, more well, turning the dial. What's with the cosine? Swing at the goddamn matchstick. So, what? Okay. You know, to spark the dynamite, dead. Mmm. There's nobody to get my jokes. You never see me rob a bank? Well, I've done it. Oh, is... So, hey, Mr. Gray, this is our business idea of yours. I'd like to hear more of the semantics. Ah, oh, good to see you, Yuri. dear Yuri. Uh uh. Of course, you gotta shout right thing. as it clicks. Uh, did I miss anything? Oh no, you anything? just missed meeting the most infamous yeah. uh, criminal in the crossing. Mm -hmm. Literally. <sighs> I knew it. But what all in one piece, there you re all in one piece. I know, I, I apologize, we should have been there. Yeah, don't you worry about that. Alright, be, I'm pretty sure you'll be there for many others, alright? Yes, um, yes, my name is Yuri, it's nice to meet you, I don't think I've met you either. It's nice to meet you, sir, yes, you can trust me.
what's gonna happen. Huh? I think a top hand custom as a sort of trophy. What I is? Well, I'm talking about my little business venture idea. Oh, you weren't there for it. Right, right. I'm planning on hosting a dueling tournament. To the death, when I take off. Okay. Uh, I, I will not be participating. Obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. Oh, well, it can be how you say you referee. At, look at you, bitches. I'm going to participate. <laughs> hey, somebody tie him we down. Most likely, all of us here will be running, you know, security vendors, refreshments, what have you, handling the money, that sort of thing. <laughs> mm hmm. Absolutely. And now, what were you going to be thinking for entry fees? Like I said, somewhere in the range of a three hundred to five hundred dollars at least, maybe even more. Mm hmm. We'll try to think if you're depending on how much you want your jackpot to be, but these people are throwing their lives away, proving their skill for it as well. Ah, greetings, there, sir. How are you? I oh, don't come. In on I a mean, whole meeting like this. Oh, is it you? Little meeting. Is it Mr. Logan? Here to, to get some practice? No, I, I was looking for you guys. I just didn't think you were having a whole meeting. Oh, well, let's step outside. You guys go ahead and talk. I'll be, Scoo I'll be back in a minute. Excuse me, just a minute. Actually, call one second. Mr. Yeah. Victor, yeah. yes? No, that ain't it. Oh, shit. Go ahead, try again. Mr. Frank. Nope. Mr. Eugene. <laughs> Your telegram number is XA867. No, 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 is it not no. Marcus? Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's Marcus. Marcus. How do you not that know that? Next, that was my next I, one. You, I could Marcus. really look at this fucking man and know who he is. Uh -huh. I've changed my outfits nearly every day. Unlike uh -huh. most people, I, I like yourself, I find a, a variety of outfits to be refreshing. I don't like wearing the same thing. Yeah, that, that is a fancy boa you've got there. I yeah, agree. I pretty much wear the same thing every day. Oh. It's sad, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mean to enter someone's home and insult them, but that just happens ah, to be yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. Exactly <laughs> what no, that's exactly happened. what you meant to do. But you know, uh, the subject matter of the conversation really isn't one so... fun to discuss openly, I suppose. We really appreciate you coming here and giving us a verbal kick in the ground, though. We appreciate that. Brando's really the word of the day. Uh, word of the day for you, Mr. Or, y. It's like the what, third time you mentioned one. it. A Grando. What is a Grando? A strip of flesh in between your testicles and your anus. Mm hmm. Perfectly well, sensitive you to know, kicks. The more you know, <laughs> okay. I guess. Oh, oh. But as long as you don't kick the actual balls, it might uh, might not hurt so bad. No, it hurts terribly. Really? Yeah, oh, shit. Well, yeah, okay. You haven't got any experience yet. Well, Mr. Mr. Marcus, it was a pleasure to see you, sir. Oh, he said he was looking for us. I'll yeah, you, you want to talk some business or something? This, this no, talk. it's it's not business. It's uh, the other end of the spectrum. Uh, oh, you know, the the sad end. The, the war end, that's the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. But why don't, why don't you come in? Talk sure, to us. Sure. No problem. Come on in. Well, uh, you know, I have this horrible thing about me where... Uh, whenever I have the possibility of maybe fighting people in the future i like to speak to them first you know humanize them understand their side of i'm gonna fight us recently Possib uh, possibility of fighting your enemies are you talking about us for some reason possibly i've recently Mr. found myself a lot closer with um a few of my friends mainly kaniklo mills oh come on there marcus uh, these are good men. I like them. Each and every one. Yeah, I've heard that okay. they've had altercations with you. I'm just curious why. Does it all boil down to that one psychotic man rotting away in jail? Exactly. Oh, so you're wondering the same thing that we're wondering. How the hell were there the night? Oh, go ahead. You were there the night that he stabbed me, right? I was, yeah. In the shack in the woods north of here. You call it a shack, I call it a home. It's a homely place. Oh, oh it's your home. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah. You heard the yeah. lies and the, the craziness that came out of his right mouth. There. So all, all this fire and it starts just there? This, that's what no, it's all about. No, no that no. is long, long past. Oh, no, no, no. he... Yeah, let me say one thing, then I'll leave it to you, Mr. Way. When he was trying to be this businessman, uh, we did little business with him. Bygones were bygones, as they say. But the last conversation I had with him without holding a gun in my hand, he looked at me, and he has a problem with someone in our organization. He told me the only way to take care of this is if you turn her over to me. And Still. if I feel merciful, I will be merciful. If I feel like killing her, I will kill her, which he wants to strap her to an oil tanker and blow it up. He said, if you do not do this, one by one, I will take Taipan down until there is nothing left, until your memory is gone forever. It all boils that down to that. That is what this is about. Yes, it does. Yes. Jesus Christ, that man is um, obsessed, is the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Insane. And I want nothing more than to never have to hear about him again. I have no ill will towards him. I don't want anything to do with him. Um, but unfortunately, I don't get to make that choice, apparently. Time after this, an assassin of his came to try and kill Mr. Way, but he found me and tried to kill me. An that assassin. is how it got kick-started, yes. Be it. Jack Kettleman... As far as I'm aware, don't normally hire assassins. Who was it? It's a weak one in his group. Huh. It's not a real assassin, but he tried to assassinate. He tried to kill. He was probably trying to gain favor or something. Oh. Man, don't it you wish there was a way you could just fight a single damn person without having to worry about all his friends? Because really, I don't... Jack was my friend, but so much has happened. I don't care too much for what happens to him. I... More care about my closer friends, Alice Mills, Kaniklo, that mm -hmm. one. People we have respect for. Kaniklo, specifically Kaniklo, and a few others. There were people who clung to more of a diplomatic way of coming to conclusions. Then there's people who are ready to go ahead and fire their guns at one another. Mr. Marcus, we have always been people. We've been up front. The war or the battle to which we will be fighting with Mr. Kettleman all comes down to pretty much who Jack Kettleman can get around him and how he's able to make these fanatics follow. It's a damn shame that there's people like Kaniklo and Mr. Shields and others who I think have really good minds, the ability to create instead of destroy. But here we are. Every time Jack Kettleman blows that horn, his people are there to rally. People like Fei Long, who get shot by Pip. Cole, who get shot by others. And worse and worse, none of this has been something that we've ever wanted. It was all born out of necessity. How long has it been quiet? When was the last time either side spilled blood? About a week ago. And on their side, less than one week. Right. They show We are no longer. We are no longer uh, out hunting them. They like to draw some blood. They can come here. Give it a try. I don't think they but, have uh, much intent of pursuing it as long as Jack is in jail. Is well, that who, someone once said the Kettleman group, the Kettleman gang, was at its best when Clayton Orwell was the leader. <laughs> and uh, Clayton was a man that I respected very much. Though he's Peep. I met Peep long, long ago, long before he was with Jack. When he was with some pirate, I robbed him in the desert. And uh, later he got the advantage on me. He tried to rob me. We ended up talking. We became friends. Gave him back his gun. How we Crazy started. thing that, you know, it's like both sides are all still fucking human. Just one crazy man. Leading it into a uh, terrible situation. Yeah. Well, we have done our so, best to make him very quiet. 
it's mm-hmm. not working. So, Marcus, let me ask you this. If you can sit here and tell me that all of your friends are rallying with this crazy man, how could you have the audacity to sit here at my table and say that you are fighting alongside that same crazy man? No, I haven't done much fighting yet, that's why. But you have the intention to. You have the intention of meeting me and my people on the battlefield if it ever came to that. To put hot steel in those who you know. Only fighting because they have to. Meetings like this are in an attempt to negate such outcomes from being the case, but unfortunately I have a wide history of siding with people who follow psychopaths all the way back to Van Horn. Right? Fortunately, Jack doesn't leave much room for discussion. We've tried to meet with him, we've tried to talk, we've tried to hammer things out. He refuses to meet with me in any capacity. And uh, I'm pretty sure other meetings that he's actually been in, he ends by charging people with a knife. Such a fucking shame. You know, I talk to them, right? Obviously, they're my friends. They, they don't actually care to go after you too much. I think they'd only do it on his fucking They behalf. They really shouldn't. I've never done anything to any of them. Ever. I have no Just care. The same situation I find myself in. It's not really that they want to pursue his ideals. It's just the moment someone hurts him, they've hurt a friend and spilled blood, blah, blah, blood, blood gets blood, all that same shit. That's how it is. I mean, that's very much the boat I find myself in. I just don't want the people that I still have left to be hurt and dying in the streets. My brother great. I can say you can vouch for all of type pain. None of us will take pleasure of finding or killing any of yours, Moxie, you, Kniklo, Pip. All it's... of these people in the past, Mills, have done business with us in some capacity. It is yeah, Jack it was. It Who is going to hit the mark this up? I'm on pretty good terms with Moxie. I'm the one who did the surgery to remove her eye. Oh, she was, wasn't she? It's funny. That's nice. Saffron was there, too. She was very thankful for it because she lived. You know, that was when her daddy was alive. But... Goodness, that feels like a lifetime ago. And of course, I never had no problem with <laughs> It was with quite some time ago. Oh, you haven't. You've always been good. And like with, I said, with I every came single in here to one. figure out why. Why this has all happened. I didn't. I think each side has its biases, and the only way you can bridge them is if you learn both from the people. Agreed. I mean, Marcus, you don't know everything. I you don't. don't. And if I were to break this down to you, remember the day that Cole was stabbed, yes? I do. Right. That was because Solomon told Jack Catherine that we were selling guns to the, the, the robots for free. Which is untrue. So he took that information as we were selling guns to his enemies and stabbed Cole. And all they riff down to where we end up getting to, which is after a business meeting goes awry, he makes his, his threats against Holly. And then we get up to the point of... He is going, he gets out of jail. He's having a real bad time. This is after Clayton Orwell's death. It's been something I've been very curious about this entire time. Can he grow in Clayton Orwell? They were more than just friends, weren't they? That's what I gathered. Right. We yeah. Good. You know Rabbit was killing him? You see. It was only Rabbit and Peter I Gray. Thought that Clayton Orwell was only important to one man. There was Jack. So during the entirety of the time of war, as we were talking about being human, we are celebrating our humanity. Even after Jack Kidman got me and my own people hurt, caused the war to unfurl further than it needed, needed to, caused what has happened to my face, I still had an inkling of compassion in my heart. My people found out that Clayton Orwell 
died and none of his things made its way to their loved ones. Did you get anything from Clayton Orwell? After his death? May I? Uh, I mean, this is a tangent. About two weeks before Clayton's death, he set up an elaborate ruse in order to steal and Miss Braithwaite's silverware, which was all just a big ploy for him to betray me and cut out my kidney because I had shot him very early on in our partnership. But me and Clayton were not the best of friends. Okay, understood. Well, but I digress. Mr. Clayton was important for some of the other people in the faction, yes? You know, they say he was the backbone of the Jack Kettleman group. It was the Jack Kettleman gang run by Clayton Orwell. <laughs> there you go. It seems like he was a, very much a pillar for that company, or should I say gang. Thing is, though, is we got a gun. A piece of memorabilia from Clayton Orwell. He's a Russian Cattleman. Long Barrel Cattleman. Signed with Clayton Orwell's name in his telegram. I reached out to, to Jack Cattleman to exchange this with the hopes that he would go ahead and leave us out of whatever skirmish he would ever have in the future. I'll wait that to be with his friends or not. He took this gift. And he swore that he would not say anything to the other opposing side. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Jack Kettleman has been a catalyst to all the great pain which we have had over the past few months. That same gun, though, was a big bridge. I thought it was a gift of appealing to humanity. This is the day that I figured that Jack Ketterman has no humanity. Even if it's for his people who are important. Or he deems important. The past is deep, Marcus. And we've been doing our best to claw ourselves out of that depth. And here we are starting to do with many of our things. We refuse to be a product of the world that Jack Ketterman designs. I figured it was something like that. I didn't think you guys would be in the wrong, honestly. We don't wish fighting battles, war, or whatever. We are businessmen first. Many people say this, but this is true about us. I think our history speak for itself. Take care of the gun shop. We have made the Mady Market. We have White Industries, the Diamond Mogul of the Crossing. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, opium. Now that is me. Opium tobacco and opium products. It's going quite well. I prefer to do the business. I don't prefer to kill. Same. There's only a few psychopaths who do. I would, I would encourage love you if not this to... could come to an amicable, amicable ending. Do you think it could? No one, Jack. Yeah, I guess the question would be how long can it be amicable? Until one day he spots Miss Frost at the corner of a normally fine meeting and suddenly snaps back into what nearly year old feud or something how long was it how long has it been it's been eight or nine months i don't know it's been a long time it has been a long fucking time each time we grabbed jack even before we blew his kidney out with the elephant gun gave him a choice drop this beef you have with holly over you walk away free to pursue whatever it is you like also, each time we have grabbed them, uh, other members of his gang, we also have them choice. We don't just uh, grab them and beat them up or... Don't want to continue this, no. But uh, he, Jack always say, you don't have the fortitude uh, to continue. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. We do. We can last as long as he can and longer if need be, but we don't want to. 
it's reasonable to not want to, you know? I don't know. I, I can't do. speak for Jack, and throughout my fucking months of knowing him, I have tried to get a read of the man, but it seems at any point where he reaches some semblance of coherent thought, he deviates down a path of insanity. Right now, you might be able to sue for peace with him. There's another group of people that seem to have his attention quite a bit more. You know his friend Jed? Uh, yeah. yeah. He found himself stabbed him a few times. Nearly oh. dead, so... Maybe now's the time, who knows? But the Wesley Shields, too, was hurt quite badly. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think you know he'll how... be too scared about that one. Do you know how he was hurt? Yeah, Jack clobbered him over the skull with the rifle butt. Wait, Jack uh, yeah. Kettleman did that? It's Why? a long story. Oh, you know, well, we got well, I have a long here. time. Must have yeah. a long time, dear sir. His friend Jed, the one I mentioned, had been stabbed and left for dead up in Elysium Pool. A tragedy, really. And, um, took us a few hours to find him. We were running from the law. Hard times, and, well, we got a doctor out to him, and he wasn't looking too great. At least that's what I'm told. I wasn't there for this next part. Wesley approached Jack and told him it's time to give up. Let him go. Hand him over to the doctors and let him take him in or whatever. Jack wasn't having it. He thought that the best way to handle it was to keep the doctor here and help him I guess it came to a head I... so the man who threw away the badge to ride with Ketan and me pays him back by beating him over the face I don't think Jack understands anything about it I, say, I don't know why anyone would be surprised by something like that <laughs> everyone is as useful to Jack Kettleman as they are willing to fanatically devote their entire lives to him. If you are not an unquestioning soldier, you are of no use. Yeah, I shouldn't be talking so openly about such things, but so be it. At least that's what I heard, of course, from someone who was there. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm starting to fear for his gang. <laughs> <laughs> well, if there's any other questions you have for us, Marcus, we're open books. How long, uh, how long has it been since we first met out in Tumbleweed? Ooh. Where you, uh, well, had so your prize that. fighter lose his title. Hey, listen to you. Stop all that. Oh no, mm -hmm. it, it's relevant <laughs> to the question. No, it's really not. Anyway. Yeah, no, it will he, be. It will I, be. I, I can confirm he hasn't been wearing tails since that day. Because yeah, I'm I a was, man of honor. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking it's probably been probably over oh, four or five months. Yes, I, I is think. The one. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, you know, you'd probably look good wearing some teals sitting there. So I think it's been long enough for you to. Put the outfit oh. back on. You, you, I you've regained not. your tail. I have <laughs> regained the tail. Let yeah, it be heard. I tell you a secret. Sometimes he wears it uh, privately. Cold. Cold. <laughs> I guess why I was just all in and uh, laundry the today. What the fuck? <laughs> I retract my good fortune. No, no, you know no what? it's too late. No, it's too late. It's been put out into the world. The, the, no, the hire have yourself heard a new prize. The gods have rejoiced. And you want to hire a new prize fighter? Cole, beat Marcus's Cole, ass. Cole, go on. Get it, get it. <laughs> beat Marcus's <laughs> ass. All right, you fine. fine. You can, can, you can yeah, openly wear we're... teal now. You don't have to do it behind closed teal doors. Ah, <sighs> thank God. Yeah, I saw him once. I was watching him. He's in the tailor shop. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a fucking privacy. You just, watch, you just, you just watch him when he's changing the, in the tailor what? shop, I have Cole? To make sure he... I have to make sure he's safe. Yeah, uh, he's a dangerous person. Okay. Oh, no, uh, no, listen, I thought Jack Ketum would have fucking fanatics. You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be fair, I didn't expect you not to wear teal. I figured, like, a week after you left there, you'd be walking around here in teal. Uh, so who do you take me for? Who do you take me for, Sue? 
We well, argued for so long met, about mustaches that day. We met out in the desert and argued about mustaches, and you ran like a... At the time, what I assumed was a seedy mining company. I figured you were a scoundrel. Seedy? Seedy? I didn't you know you. You describe my business uh -oh. as seedy? You, you fought me yourself, I'll go lost. ahead, I'll plant you, you like hired a fucking sapling. A ringer who lost? I swear. You're, you're lucky. You're lucky I'm having my hospitality right now. I'm in a good place. For the good day. Well, yeah, I appreciate the hospitality. Yeah, I'll and really the check that. Candid fight. answers to my questions. Yeah, of course. Motherfucker. I hope, um. I hope it never comes to blows. I hope that Jack can see reason and that the others are at least, if not done with this, too concerned with anything else. Well, while I have you here, um, and I know you, you're not in any position to help us, maybe, but maybe it could help. Have you ever heard of a gang called The Pack? The Pack? No. no. The no. Pack? No. no one has. It's such a stupid name. It is so well, My gang is called The Gang. <laughs> <laughs> no no one we spoke to has heard of these people who kidnapped our friend and stabbed him and left us a message from the pack. Huh. <laughs> Anyways, have yourself a good day. People up here. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's Frank. It is Frank. Frank's college is back? What's this? I don't know. What do you need, mister? Uh, nothing. I was gonna meet some people here, but it seems they're already occupied. Yeah. Just everyone's coming up nowadays. Yeah, you know, maybe we I say nowadays, for a week or so. It's not like they, you know, everyone's coming up in the last 20 minutes. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, maybe, maybe the, uh, after we were gone for those two weeks, and maybe people began to use it more. I don't know. Maybe. If this thing still plays. I couldn't play it earlier. I guess I'm just bad at it. Bet. There we go. My fucking pistol. You hear it? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I do now. <laughs> oh, now I do. Yeah, well, I, th I thought I saw him walking around. Uh the other day I guess it was him it's so interesting when the character can look you know be recognizable as a unique person they not they're not always that way strong. like yeah, right. I think it's uh, reasonable I how's it going fellas you know sale and ladies hey, yeah. huh. sorry I'm looking at my gun y'all doing all right who's yet mr. two snakes it's Holly? Holly. Yes, it's Holly. Hey, how's it going? It's Holly. So good to see you. Mm-hmm. What you been getting yourself up into? Not too much. Just uh, minding the store and stuff like that. Are you working here? Something like that, occasionally. Good on ya. I hear it's a good place to be. Yeah, I'd say so. Great deal on ammo here. Yeah, real good. It is the best. Any uh, interesting news out this way? Like what? I don't know. I, I just, you know, gun news. I don't know. I just fell on this gun. That's why we're here. I got to fix it. Yeah, unfortunately, there hasn't been too much gun news unless people turn up those weapons crates with, um, you know, special weapons in them. Mm-hmm. Is, is that what this place uh, deals in? Bang, bang, bang. So can you, you say that again? Scott. I said, is that what this place is dealing in? Those specials? Uh, if we could ever get them, maybe. All right, well, we'll let you know, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you ever come across them, let us know. We can talk about it. Uh, what are you wax. fucking doing? Don't point that in here. You know how she works, mate? Let's see. <laughs> <sighs> well, good. Uh, uh break it to you, Tommy. Right. Hello, Pointing hello, the gun at there. people doesn't tell you how it works. There's me. All right. Well, oh, he, okay. he's just being a little, uh -huh. little difficult today. All right. We'll, mm. we'll get out of your hair, okay? Howdy, howdy there. How was your mining oh. trip? Oh, uh, it was great. It was great. Thank you very much. <coughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear it. Yes. Hopefully, uh, 
Oh, it was fantastic. Cool. Glad to hear. So glad to hear. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. this has been good for all of you today. Put that away. Oh, so far, so good, I'd say. Cool. It's what I like to hear. So, what brings you all the way to Santa Lee? Ah, got oil. Buying in bulk? Fighting a bunch of drunks is what we've done so far. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo. Always a good time. Ay, yeah. Es escorting cannibals and fighting drunks? <laughs> it's. Uh oh. There's so many people here. Oh, that is right. Yeah, that wonderful lass. Yeah, she was a very interesting lady. That's for sure. Nah, nah. Yeah, don't worry. We're trying to get out of here. There's so many people in here. My God. Yeah, we, we oh. do. We do have to bid you adieu. Got to go do right. stuff, all right? Well, it was a pleasure to see oh, you well, again. If you need to yeah, um, use good. the broom upstairs, you, uh, should not be a problem. Oh, good. Uh, I, I know, know she is. We already, uh, we know all of sorts of things already. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. Well, the best of luck to you all. Safe travels with the voice of Saint Denis. Be well, Mr. Two Snakes, Mr. Speedy. You mm -hmm. as well, sir. Probably. Be very well. Try our hardest, and right? you as well. Yeah, have a good day. All right, you take it easy. That's it. Have a good evening, ma'am. All right, let's get to the fucking table. <laughs> Holly, <laughs> is yeah. your customer, does, your, does your customer service need work? What do you mean? <laughs> Speedy was like, very, very, very much uh, competitive. So we, you act like you're such a bad mover. <laughs> what? Whatever his Speedy voice is. Uh, you can, I came down here and Speedy was like, we don't have to go ahead and say it like that. I'm like, oh my god. Wait. Does need to work on the no, service? he didn't. He wasn't. He was talking to someone else. It wasn't. Oh, uh, oh. I wasn't sure if he was appointed. No, point. no. We. We were both sort of roasting Tommy there for being an idiot. <laughs> and and then, then he said something. Oh. It was. Yeah. I understood. I understood. I'll be right back. That is fine. I'm going for the shitty bill. Yeah, Yuri, Yuri needs to. Yeah, no, I just practice. I told him that if he uh, comes across any special guns, if they come across any of the special guns, that we can talk about them. That's it. Nothing more. Ooh, all right. You know, no worries. Um, yeah, we can go take a trip down the shitty bill. We can um, all get in the wagon and we can still have the conversation from there. Yeah, sure. Uh, can you still you can still drive the wagon? Yes, yeah, of course. No. Right. I need, I need gun oil. Yeah, don't forget your ammo and your gun oil. Yeah. You want a tea? Uh, uh if, if you need your hands free, sure. I kind of do. Okay. Doesn't look very good, but it tastes very nice. Uh -huh. Doesn't look very good. Holy! Yes. Get on the way. Get yeah, on the way. Yeah, you, do, you do have to be nice to get on. I will hope you're nice. That's what this was. Okay. Wow. Oh, ow! Oh, Who's driving this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Who's, uh, okay. It is me. Relax. Please relax. don't kill. <laughs> Why are you gonna kill me? I'm not going to kill anybody. Scrape Miss Frost off like a <laughs> like a tick. Relax. There's no one's going to turn into an insect on my watch. All right. So listen, if we make this sale off of uh, out of the way, out of the way, you just okay. Listen, he did not move. We're going to make six thousand dollars if we make this sale to Mrs. Thomas. Uh -huh. 
Uh, Cole, we're going to need to make sure we sit down with Bai Lee and figure out the rest oh, of the Oh, I know. Novel. Well, yeah. <laughs> Teresa Espresso we'll will start telling me food. I need to drink coffee right away. No, I already drank coffee. Free for the heck of that price as well. And it's not 10 p.m. at night. It's only like. Going forward, we should also be, probably come up with a, uh, a little bit of a cipher. Well, what do you mean, cipher? No, Eric. Something we can safely send in telegrams that doesn't immediately tip off the fact that we are dealing in illegal guns. Agreed. Yeah. Something easy, simple. You know. Well, I, know I think that, that you, you don't have to yeah. sign the telegram. No, but they yeah. you you have to visibly you know tell the teller of the telegram station what you are sending. So you do kinda. They can trace you, no matter what. Yeah, but I mean, you don't say it's stolen; you just say guns. They and if they're if they're, together, if they're a little broken down, up. yes, but it's about evidence. Yes, and if you <laughs> if evidence it would be better just if, to if, say it listen, in person. If, uh, if they go, all right, we got a telegram from uh, we got a telegram here, here that says that you bought uh, three Lancasters from this gang that just robbed one of three Lancasters. They, they, they kind of yeah. Down here. There it is. Yeah, there There's that wicked nasty property. What is this disgusting? What is disgusting? This place. Oh yeah. The Davis family estate. How am I reloading this one handed? Oh. The Davis family estate. Wow. Thing. I'm suddenly able to reload this navy one handed while I'm hanging off this wagon. That's amazing. Impressive. That was very impressive. It's very impressive. All right, Mr. Gray, we will go around to the back. And we'll go ahead and talk oh, about oh. Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> this bell does it ding? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, it does. Huh? Something's wrong with that bell. I can hear it. Gun safety, woohoo! Okay. Aye, yeah. Aye, Don't yeah. Shoot me. Hey, 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 yeah. What are you pointing the gun? Gun safety 101. Anyways. So, yes. So you're thinking about five hundred or three hundred dollars to go ahead and buy it, but to be honest with you, do you think people are going to want to kill each other for less? You think a thousand dollars would be good? Oh no, I don't think anyone in. will kill each other on this sort of scale with the charges for anything less than nine thousand. Agreed. At least in total, a gun might be able to sweep the pot at least a little bit, depending on how much it's worth. Why is there so many explosives here? I mean, that was a lantern. You said there was a lemon? <laughs> lantern. What? Oh, a lantern. <laughs> oh my god. I, I didn't see what happened. You can unban him if you want. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what was being said. So <laughs> I mean, the entry fee is very negotiable on being higher, considering. Right, right. I mean, it's not like mm -hmm. I think that having a cap on how many people are going to be there, maybe try out doing just two matches. Ah, I see. Yeah, you can just ban those. Sometimes. Yeah, no, if they're loot, you use your judgment. If you think someone's just being looted in their first time, sure. Get rid of them. We don't need that around here. Yeah. I make mods out of people I trust to, to handle stuff, so.
Mm. Went on to uh, come in and watch a bunch of guns things kill each other for their views. It's gonna be paying out the pocket for it. Mm, I see. What are you thinking? Like ten dollars or something like that? Ten dollars? No, <laughs> several hundred at least. That that is a taste. <laughs> I would say that if you're trying to get the uh, because I mean, you think about it this way. You gotta be smart about it. Certain arenas only have usually about a 32 uh, person capacity. Hmm? Yep. And so, there's probably yeah, gonna be target. at Depends least there, six or seven of us running the thing. Correct. Then we'll have. Uh, then you have the participants. Mm -hmm. uh, which I'm thinking can go anywhere from maybe 10. 10, 10 to 12 is probably what I would hope for. Then everything else, uh, everything after that, participants. Mm hmm. Well, that could definitely work. When are you planning on trying to do such a thing? Nah, it's gonna take a while to drum up the funds and get all these uh, people up and running, so it's gonna be at least a month from now. Yeah. Mm hmm. And how much you think you're going to need? Although I typically are pre. Oh, I've got conversions! Pot's gonna need to be at least 9,000, but we don't need that until the day of. Because, like, it would be so impossible to just reload. That's very true. You know, I'm kicking myself in the ass now. I had a whole box of inundation that I left back in the desert. Son of, son of a bitch. Watch out. I'm trying to shoot. I know. Are you following me? No, I'm trying to shoot. I, I'm trying to. Uh, away. yeah. Oh. I mean, now Move you can buy conversion <laughs> kits for like. Damn it. Move out the way. <sighs> 300 bucks? I don't know. Help me, help me. I was looking at it because there was a bunch of. Some people did. There was like three or four it. navies at Cabela's. And uh, they were like 200 or 300 bucks. <laughs> the conversion kit would cost as much or more than the than the navy. I think it would have converted it to 22. Or, if you use Mr. Swan's wonderful trick, Yuri, while you go ahead and try to fan the hammer, move forward while you're doing it. Yeah. You'll get a lot better of an accuracy that way. Yeah, so I can see this. Uh, yeah, shit. It all went to the... I wonder if that works with the raffle as well. Bad. Hey, everybody get in the big old line and try it up together. Everybody go ahead and concentrate on the target. Everyone see that big pan up there? The one that's still hanging up? Yeah. I need to think for that one. Everybody in line? Let up on target! I'm in line. I'm in line. Not not behind me, asshole. Oh. What in big line, pan are you talking shooting. about? I'm walking oh, a line yeah. and you can't. I, if we're all in the line, we're going okay, to murder okay, each okay, other. Okay, 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 okay. Well, it makes empty uh, squ- you're too close, I'll shoot you. Too close, too close. Emily, scoot down. Yeah. Yuri, scoot down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Are everyone ready? No. Yeah. Have you got enough space between yourselves? The big pan to the left of the scarecrow. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah come stand where I'm standing, Yuri. You'll it's be able to see it just fine. from the rafter. Mm -hmm. Oh. You see it now? All right. Okay, on three, everybody. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, can you guys do it again? I'll stay back here and uh, do uh, security. Thank you, Carl, for your security. Yeah, it's very important. By the way, I really had to hold my tongue that that meat would never mind. What was me? A lot of <laughs> Oh no, I can understand. I too felt the same way. But I also would not mind if I just never had to deal with that again. Can you guys... Oh, the the one with the side gate, like a Winchester. 
Did you see the one I got, Kale? I got one that's literally- it's this one. I got- I have on, the I new original. Fuck my feet at the way. Um, All right. which is based off the 1860. Ready, everybody on the pot, yes? Yeah, hold, hold your fire, hold your fire! Wait till you see the white so the, uh, the pan, not the pot. Prepare Actually, you know what? Yeah, three, two, one, go. Shut your mouth, Colt. I hit it a bunch of times. <laughs> yes, I hit it twice at least. Oh, it's somewhere in the general. I don't know. <sighs> I got it last day of the year. Should come out here uh, no, it'll be in general because cool stuff is something. I just stroke of idea. What's that? It'll be like we around January 1st or second. We should go ahead and do a shooting contest. We go oh, ahead and do all the, all the ammunition. We come out here and, and do... Do something of the sort. Check. You know what you could do? A little quick draw competition. Mm, whoever, whoever hits the most targets in the span of like three seconds with one. Yeah, we're just like revolving sh weapon shoot ammunition <laughs> wins. That could work. You have to. It's, the hard that thing will be, be figure out how to judge that. Too. Yeah. Some food for thought, I would have to go ahead and think it over. No. Yeah. An idea in its infancy. I do not have any on. Thank you for the follow. One. Yeah, I just went out. I have a few. I have a few. I can give you five. Someone over there. Like Someone with Someone's here. Oh, I, I, indeed. Never mind. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So you, you didn't see anybody. So, what did you have a problem with, Mr. Gray? With the, with the Marcus just now? Oh, I just had to hold my tongue. When, especially okay. when, you know, the conversation became like, I don't think anyone here would want to hurt any of the, the people there. And I'm just like, well, you know. Yeah, you, you want to hurt them? A little bit. I honestly don't have any real problems. Why is she okay? You're right. You you can't. Yeah. You're right. You just you just went skipping across la firing range. I nearly shot you in the face. I nearly. I clipped you. There's there's some. Thank you. You laughed at the face of death. Yeah, is that what it is? Living on the edge. I'm probably gonna use all of this. I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting a lot better. I'm gonna see if the dynamite's back. Cause I love the dynamite. No, no dynamite. If I run off and come back, there will be dynamite. Yeah, isn't it pretty? That's the one you want? You want mine or you want my dad's? My dad's is in our DMs. The the side gate. Yeah, I did find it. Actually, there's one at my local Cabela's again now. Uh, it's sort of a, a bummer. The the caliber, you know, the, the, the ammo is so nearly impossible to get. We're working on figuring out how to make the reloads. Uh, but even getting brass is going to be really difficult. I have one box of ammo. Hopefully go out and shoot it next weekend or something. Just wait for nice, nice days. And this weekend decided to be nasty. Uh, the, the side gate is my dad's. The new original Henry is mine. The one that's like the one that I'm carrying is mine. Yeah, well, that's that's what I'm doing, but you still need the brass. You know, firing from the hip, quick fire is so satisfying. It's, I love it. Yeah. Oh. 
get me. Yeah. Down the uh, Emily sisters killer the other day. Can I pick up my knives? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's enough. Alright, uh, everyone reloading. Alright, clearing the range, clearing the range. These are the sounds of clearing the range. Hey, hey, Holy Frost. Huh? What? Hey, Holy Frost, come here. Wh where are you? I'm right next to you. Feel yeah. right. I'm having a hard time seeing all the seas of fire. Okay. Uh, all right. You yeah. see that lantern over there? Which one? The one over there. The on the house? Why over there? Yeah, the one, yeah, the, yeah, the one I'm looking at. Okay. You see? What of it? I bet you I could hit it before you can. Yeah, I tried to hit it earlier, so you probably could, if you can hit it. God, holy, holy. If I am in the middle of trying to play a game with you, you're just supposed to go, oh, you know, you banter back and forth. Like, oh, I bet you probably could go ahead and hit it. You know, you think it's the fun of the competition right out of it. Which one is it? The one in the house over there? The one in the house is. Oh, fuck. I'll hit you. If, if you guys can. That is right on there. Come on, right there. Yeah, I'm out of gun oil. I don't I don't think I can. One shot. I'll get you. I'd be lucky. Yeah, you hit the roof. We Great job. Hit, hitting the roof. <laughs> more <laughs> more <laughs> hitting the roof. Ready? Ready? Oh, oh I got it! Oh, oh. Son. <laughs> uh, she got it. I got it. And I have no more ammo. Well, well, for done. the rifle. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a little bit, but nothing, nothing in my box. Like what is that, Ed? You didn't see the lightning. Just, I, I, all I saw were giant sparks behind us. I, uh, yeah, this house okay, is Mr. Hit the swingy bottle. Oh. Oh, oh you I want me to do that? Sorry. Go, go. I got it. Yeah. I'll uh, start distributing. Oh, very good. Ooh, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Thank you. So, what did you There is a gun I'm looking for right now, Caleb. Yeah, it's a Uberti 1873 Cattleman 2 dual cylinder in 9mm and 357. It has interchangeable cil business. cylinders so you can they fire both. Do the business with us. Because, um, well, I use a little bit of our culture to uh, hopefully get on his good side. Do that breed if you want. Yeah, gave him a pump shotgun. How kind. Right, just let me on the fucking wagon, please. Come on. No, you're not alone. Hey, <laughs> hi, Yuri. I am the wagon whisperer. The wagon <laughs> says no. Here we go. I got it. There we go. Backing up. Backing up. So we talk. Backing talk up. about business. Talk about information. Talk about the. Uh, Dems, these kinds of things. Oh, yeah, he's not as tall as I thought he was. Everyone say he was ten feet tall and he eat babies for breakfast. Oh. The, this yeah. is what they said about Mr. Summers? Yeah. Well, he did not look like a ten foot tall baby eater. No, he did not. Ooh. It's definitely cleaned up since last time I saw him. Oh, that's for sure. But no, people right. said his voice was deep, but I thought his voice was going to be deeper. Ah, uh, we all have a... Uh... Holy Frost said he sounded like somebody with a gravel or granite inside their throat. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, Mr. Summers, you know... Something mm -hmm. like that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, Dad. Yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, 
Yeah, yesterday or this morning actually, Bailey was uh, almost got the same hairstyle as Gavin Summers. I did not oh realize until I saw him. Bailey Summers. Where is Bailey? <laughs> Surprised he wasn't there for the gun deal. Yeah, he's um, probably uh, uh, at the Jade Dragon. Mm, probably. Yeah, probably. Weird though, because like I could feel him the spirit. I mean, we weren't talking about guns, so. Yeah, we were. It's good to know. Yeah, I don't know if you like. Uh, just... I don't know if you like uh, getting so many of the guns that we are going to get, but uh, we shall see. Well, I mean, it's a good goddamn, you know, sale right there. Let's make sure those prices are fair. Make sure you go speak to Bailey about it as well. You know what's another thing we could do? What's What? What other cool, you know? dubious thing did you just go ahead and concoct inside your brain? We could rent a boat, take one to one of the islands of Flatiron, and leave them. I thought about doing that. I thought about doing just leaving the boat all the way out in the sea. <laughs> Can't go in the way. I mean, you leave the boat there. And you, you know, there is a big a boat robot. in the middle of the river here that is maybe possible to get to. It would be a perfect meeting spot. Nobody could follow you. If they did, you would see them a mile away. But that would be something I wouldn't. Need. Yeah, it's just to our right up here. Is anybody but it's far to go out ahead? in the middle of the river? Stop by the general store before heading back to the apartment or the gun store. No, I'm gone. Uh, I'm. Anybody else? Uh, what's I'm the question good? again? You need to go to the general store. No. All right. I just need to go to the bank to go ahead and count my gems, and I'll be heading to the uh, apartments myself. Is anybody else who wants to go to the apartment? No, I'm gonna go to the gun yeah. store. Yeah. I'll figure the apartments later. My way. Come with you to the bank. Sounds good to me. Need to. Lay my head down here pretty soon. I just want that one in particular. I want to be able to swap yeah. out the uh, the dual yeah. the yeah. dual cylinder for nine millimeter and thirty seven. Mining trip, everything else in between. Like if you're Mining nice to it, you should kill the brass frame. Trip. Little by little, it will grow bigger. Don't worry. I'm not worried about a thing there, so just glad to be back to some bit of normalcy. That's for sure. All right, so we'll... you need to go to the bank. I'm going to be going to the bank. Just making sure that yeah, I've okay. right, all my resources correctly. Make sure I have the I'll gems go. for Mister, Mister. You know, may need some help yeah. making sure this is good. I'm working with about fifteen hundred dollars. Nah, I I like fifteen thousand dollars for the inventory right now. Okay, do you need us to go with you? I don't see why not. More than merely. Okay. Make a parade out of it. Yeah, parade of gems. You'll get some gems. You'll get some gems. I don't think they would sell it if it would if if shooting it would break it, Caleb. It's a it's a new constructed gun. It's not an old gun. Okay, I'm gonna swap back to Saffron. Oh, I should clear my guns. It costs so much money. Shooting your guns is expensive in game two. <laughs> I'm like, ammonia? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting the primers and stuff. And found, finding the right powders. We have a stockpile now, but...
Yeah, that is. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. Take my doggies out, stuff like that. I'll be back. Might be 10, 15 minutes, but I'll be back. Give me 20 minutes. I'll be back. I'll get on Saffron. Guys, 9mm is perfectly affordable. Uh, ye... How do I do that? Crip, you have a link for me? I can do that. G give, me, give me a link and, and I'll, I'll put it up. Okay, I'm gonna quit out of the game so you don't hear that background noise. Okay, well... Sorry? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. There's some weird bugs around this area. Oh! <laughs> yeah. um. Try finding 4440. Okay, I'm gonna go take my break. Bugs me. <laughs> oh my life, I ain't done no good Till a preacher's wife told me she said, repent your sins And when I asked her why She said, the Lord is coming soon Oh my, my The Lord is coming soon Oh my, my The Lord is coming soon Oh my, my She said, repent your sins And when I asked her why She said, the Lord is coming soon Oh my, my Okay. All right, you're stay away from the horses. Are you whistling? Is he whistling? For yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to hitch my horse. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, Leave come here. Nope, he's running. Oh! 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 Didn't make it very far. Oh, get, said, him, no, get, him, get him, get him, get oh! him, <laughs> get him. Get off the fucking horse, Sam. Sam, stop. Let <laughs> 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 go of me. Sam? Okay, he's gone. I can't repeat my album. Ready? Hi. Okay, you're gonna be going on race. Three, two, one, and race. Second turn was nice. All right, and we have Saffron Mitchell with 13.72. Ooh, snap! Which is Woo! our new record holder. I hate you so much. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, tough competition. Cranberry, yes. Oh! 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 Boyd! Yeah, Marat. Just, just, I'm just, I'm just relaxing. Hold on. 
Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, just, you know, rocking my back. Other than that, pretty, pretty standard stuff. And the sky's looking good. A little musty. Are you sure? Yeah, I got your telegram and I rushed uh, over here. I figure that's why you're right in the town. Mm, yeah, yeah. That's good. Just uh, give me a second. I'll uh, get to my feet. Hold on. Just. Um... Are you sure? Do you need any bandages? I can give you some. Nah, bandages. nah, nah. It's nah, sweet. Nah, it's good. You know what? I mostly get telegrams from criminals. It's, it's just I wonder why. Phenomena. Maybe you draw the criminals yourself. Sam, look, if you've I mean, been good for like so. a whole like three a, weeks, a you and Mitchell can go on a date. What? What, are your father? <laughs> excuse me? Excuse me? That was obviously a joke. Oh, Connor, this is that supposed cry. to be Willard? Jesus, that was a joke. I need to put this right, down so that down. I can, you know, I'm not going to no, miss no, this no, time. No, 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 no deputy on deputy violence, all right? Just keep it down. God, I wish that was me. Never mind. Hey, you know, Sam, you could take Weller on a date here. I'm sure he needs it. <laughs> yeah, a date where only one of us comes back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that a threat? He's, he's just angry because he never fucked said up that. a bridge jump. I'm oh. just pulling your leash. Ugh. Where are you getting changed at? Uh, the theater across from the sheriff's office. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll make sure I, you know, stand up front, make sure no one's, you know... Having a little geese or something, yeah? Okay, you can do that. No one's looking at my girl. Or on my watch. <laughs> Especially if I haven't seen my girl yet. I mean, yeah, I mean, ah! uh, <laughs> you know, eventually when we're married and. Uh, I mean. Yeah. Aye, that's up to you. <laughs> Is that? We tried. We tried both the nice and the uh, aggressive approach. Mm hmm. Hang on. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Who are you? Oh. Okay. Was anyone speaking? Nope. Well done, deputy. You, uh, what, heard something, saw something? I saw him creeping around back. <laughs> Mask on. Uh-huh. No respond. I put Tried hands up. Sprint. Uh huh. He He sprinted right into my gun. All right. <laughs> Little dudes here. Okay. I don't know what that is. Is that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's Summers. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go. Oh no. Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is. Uh, <laughs> it's my horse. It's fine. Hello. Has, has he sent you any telegrams recently? You, I hate what on earth was, was that for? What, why? It broke its ankle. It was suffering. So you rode it all the way here on a broken ankle, and then you killed it. Yeah. That's animal cruelty. I need. I had places to be. Are, what do you are, mean? Are you serious? Hi, Cash. Yeah, it Where was the yeah, suffering. <laughs> I don't know. Can. Damn horse. Hey, stop. Stop! Jesus Christ. Don't. Stop! Oh, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> do a little woodwork with a certain gentleman. Oh, have you been helping Boyd do work? Oh, no, they. Oh, you, you don't know? <laughs> you don't know, Ubisoft? Oh, uh, how about their. I, uh, I, 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 I don't. It's know. not public. It's not public. Oh, knowledge. they've been sanding wood together. Nail hammer. You have? That's. No, oh, no, that was not uh, really. No. Really? Mm-hmm. I know for a fact he is quite fond of you. 
Oh, yeah, he came right up to me. He's like, hey, you quit telegramming Saffron now. She's taken. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, shit, me. Oh, he's scaring me. Any. Uh -huh. Thought I'd share that. Take it what you will. Have a wonderful night, Saffron. By the way, I haven't telegrammed you since. Out of respect for your new friendship. Appreciate nah. it. Good night. Take care, you guys.